Now, the preparation for the G20 summit is underway in Jammu and Kashmir. In the last minute change, the security forces have shortened the stay of the foreign guests who are coming to attend the G20 Tourism Working Group Conference in JNK's Gulmarg area. The decision was taken after security forces were informed that terrorists were planning to carry out a terror attack similar to the one that was carried out in 2611. The aim of the terrorist was to harm the foreign guest as well as, the, as well as to enter the hotel and target the people present there. Politics has erupted over the summit's location. PDP chief and former Jammu and Kashmir chief minister Mehbooba Mufti is accusing the Bharatiya Janata Party of hijacking the summit and making it a party event. She is also alleging that the Bharatiya Janata Party is replacing the G20 logo with the Lotus logo, which in fact is their party's symbol. Earlier calling the Union territory a disputed land, China too had opposed India's move to hold the meeting in Kashmir. China said that it will not be attending the G20 Tourism Working Group meeting in Jammu and Kashmir. They are trying to show that normalcy, everything is fine. I am not opposing anything. Why should I oppose anything? But the way G20 is, it's, a, it's an event for the whole country. But the BJP has hijacked it. They have even replaced the logo with Lotus. The logo should have been something to do with the country, not with the party. G20 may be something in which may be doing some kind of publicity for the BJP party at the national, at the international level. But it is the SAC which will establish the leadership of our country within this region, address its problems. Kashmir is completely set for the G20 summit from Monday to Wednesday. In fact, all the roads, all the uh, areas in the Srinagar city had not been only decorated but also security arrangement just had been made across the Kashmir Valley. Meanwhile, the Jammu and Kashmir administration is uh, displaying the different programs in different parts of the Kashmir Valley to showcase the culture, heritage of the Kashmir. In fact, all the tourist destinations are organizing different programs to aware the public and students about the benefits of the G20 summit in Kashmir. Ashrafani, find India today in Srinagar. My colleague Sunil Ji Bhatt is now joining me on this story. Sunil, this definitely has become extremely tricky now. Sources have told India today that 2611 kind of an attack was being planned. Keeping all these things in mind, the security will be on very high alert when the G20 summit takes place. Absolutely, uh, Ashwarya, as far as the G20 related event is concerned, uh, you know, security has been tightened across the length and breadth of Jammu and Kashmir, particularly in Srinagar city. We have seen that uh, Srinagar city has virtually been turned into a fortress, uh, given the sensitivity of the situation, because there are, terror, because there are, you know, the uh, intelligence inputs, which suggest that terror threat looms large over this particular event and terrorists may carry out a strike uh, during this G20 event. Uh, in Srinagar. So that is why uh, security agencies are not taking any chances. Uh, security, uh, you know, has been beefed up uh, across Jammu and Kashmir. And as I said that in Srinagar city, we have seen that, uh, you know, uh, marine commandos have been deployed um, in Dal Lake and uh, you have NSG commandos also deployed at sensitive places. Uh, there are uh, special commandos of the CRPF who are patrolling uh, 24 into 7, the streets of um, um, the Srinagar city, Jammu and Kashmir police, Indian army. So all security agencies are working in close coordination. And um, uh, uh, the attempt is to, you know, make this event a grand success. Uh, but Pakistan is rattled, terrorists are rattled. Uh, and that is why, you know, they are uh, trying, desperately trying to, you know, uh, disrupt this particular event. But all security arrangements have been made. And Srinagar city has been spruced up. Uh, decoration has been made and G20 delegates are going to arrive tomorrow and a grand event is going to take place in Srinagar. Ashwara.